Hey everyone, have I here, Bruno Vidor and Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, yes, you can play Global Dokkan once again, and we're going to be going over the data download that just happened this morning. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And of course, we know about this long, long maintenance, and uh, we ended up actually getting some rewards for it you know 12 dragon stones that's better than a poke in the eye right so uh you know consecutive logins you're going to be able to um get your double consecutive logins or get your consecutive logins if you missed it on the previous day so everything should be working should be fine now but let's go ahead and dive into the data download and shout outs to proton uh, usually of course he provides uh, all this information here and uh uh, definitely follow him. I'll put his uh, link in the description below for his Twitter page here. But anyway, we want to dive into what we're going to get and then some of the assets here that you might go, oh, oh, are we going to get this? Are we going to get that? But basically what we're getting in this data download here was the app update 5.150. Of course, that's what this is, which uh, dives into the link skill orbs, uh, which is great. It just gives me more reason to link level, which I don't do a lot of, but this is going to make it a lot easier if you have like, you know, one, one link that's just not leveling up. You know, you have everything at like nine and you want to use the guarantee one and uh, you have one that's like at seven you want to start boosting those up these are, are going to help you go ahead and do that so this is a nice nice little update uh of course we have the new uh, quest mode area 31 stages 5 and 8 so you can use that for link leveling and, and leveling up and stuff like that a new growth event uh you know again it's just another thing to do and basically this is the part two of the Thank you, Celebration. We also have the uh, Extreme Super Battle Row for Special Pose. And then the one that I don't know if it was a surprise, but I wasn't thinking about it, is World Tournament. So we are getting the 46th World Tournament, which is technically the 48th World Tournament on JP. These are the units that are going to EZA, and then also this future Gohan does Awaken. Uh, this unit here, you know, isn't all that, like you know super strong right when you look at this unit you know you're looking at 120 for 20 percent uh you know, defense plus an additional 100 percent with performing super attack high chance of stunning the enemy if there's an andrews category enemy plus additional 30 percent when performing a super attack and then uh, and then um, plus two to key medium chance for a critical hit when the future saga category ally who <laughs> includes trunks is on the team so a lot of limitation here you're really not going to be using this unit ever <laughs> really so uh again it's just a world tournament so uh, the rest of this here you have some of these other units like i believe this unit is pretty good uh the beerus can be pretty good as well um so this one here you have uh some evasion you have um yeah so you have some evasion some boost here this one i, uh, I thought this was actually better than it is so maybe this is not the one that I was thinking. Uh, let's look at some other units here. The Vegeta and the Beerus. Um, Vegeta here. I'm trying to think anything of pops up. Guards against, uh, guards against all attacks for one turn uh, from the category's uh, entry of the turn. And then you have a high chance of guarding all attacks as the first attacker. The problem is having a high chance of guarding all attacks as the first attacker. That's going to just give you... Um, some RNG headache, all right. You you want to be a little bit more secure than a high chance of doing that, but you know have some guarding ability there, and nothing here. Guards all attacks when allies attacking the same turn is exploding rage. Okay, so this works out if you're going to run an exploding rage team. So the problem is this is just a Beerus and the Dokkan Festival exclusive EZA Beerus that runs exploding rage as a leader skill, right? Then that still <laughs> that doesn't work out very well so yeah i think all in all again this is just going to be a scenario where you're um you know just getting the rewards for world tournament nothing in a sense all that special we have peton battle 24 um you have the links uh, orbs we know that so there's one thing that popped up here that was very interesting so we have this right here so this is again the world tournament what kind of banners that they have here uh, anyway um series 12 at those orbs right here so this is the overflowing gratitude ticket 
which is a different name for a thank you ticket. So this is very interesting here. This is a summon ticket for overflowing gratitude. Dokkan Festival summon ticket here. Um, so is this going to be the one that um, was kind of a random banner that we ended up having for JP, right? Uh, I don't know which one, where this goes, right? So this was a very interesting one here. We don't have the details on here. I think we'll see it on the login. So about four hours, five hours from when this video is being record, uh, recorded, four hours, um, uh, we fi we'll find out what the banner actually is going to look like. So very interesting that they have this. This is basically like a thank you ticket. We already have a thank you, uh, thank you tickets that we're accumulating right now as well. So very interesting. This is a, a new ticket we've never kind of seen before. So um, non-used, non-translated uh, asset maps. These are just kind of put into the game. Um, then you have some of these where a, a lot of people are like, oh my goodness, we got the data download for the trunks, trunks, the uh, super trunks here. Well, no, these are just non-used, non-translated assets that are just put into the game. So they're setting up for the opportunity to provide these units on here. And then also Omega Shenron is on here as well. So it doesn't mean that we're getting them like really soon. We could, we still could. Uh, I'm hoping for a better banner or another banner, but it seems like with this being the 15th and tonight there should be a banner, we would have already gotten data download for Trunks or Omega Shenron. So I'm thinking this this here could be the thank you Tanabata banner or again the random banner I was talking about uh, in my timeline video so which neither of them is really what I want <laughs> right I want a new character uh, albeit that these two really aren't very special um, yeah it's just very interesting that you know we didn't get the data download information for either of these uh, because they really if they want to fast forward this and merge the uh, the games together they should really just have like these two units, which is isn't all that popular. They're not really gonna get that much money off of it. Um, they should just there. Here you go, right here, because Super Dragon Ball Heroes is really what this is gonna make the money. Um, not necessarily these two, you know, banners here, this Dokkan Festival exclusive, um, Super Trunks here, uh, nor the um, the Carnival uh, Omega Shenron, right? So uh, one of the things that I was like, oh man, I forgot, I forgot how really really cool. Uh, this is here. I really love this card art for for a Super Saiyan Vegeta, and I wish some of this, you know, chain battle, you know, assets. These are used for future card arts, but we really haven't seen that yet, and that's really really unfortunate that we have a lot of different card arts here that we'll maybe never see as usable units, and they are really really cool looking, right? So I don't know why Dokkan does that, but. Like something like this, and then of course Majin Vegeta, the uh, uh, the Bobbity that of course exchanges into Majin Vegeta. Like that card art should be at standalone LR, but that ended up not happening here. So uh, we have the non-used translated movie here, and then um, so again these are all non-used, non-translated yet, right? They've just been put into the game, and we should then probably see them pretty soon. I would. I would assume right so a bunch of stuff that's in here um, but uh, anyway so that's just been put into the game um, these are the easy A. so we should also see uh, this in the future right so we should see this in the news is the easy A to baby um, so I think maybe when the easy A happens to baby we might get another banner on, on top of that as well so it'll be interesting to see what what happens with uh, with that. But these are all the assets for the Patan battle, everyone's favorite uh, game mode here. So oh, look at that, <laughs> and uh, I think that's pretty much about it. These are all the rest of the assets that are put into into all this. Again, shout outs to Proton for providing you know this information here. But again those are non-used non-translated assets those aren't like hey we are gonna get omega shenron like literally right around the corner we still might get him pretty soon but it could be after super dragon ball heroes or really during super dragon ball heroes but i'm really interested in seeing what the banner is tonight because we should get a banner tonight and i'm guessing it's going to be has to do with something with this right here this overflowing gratitude ticket but uh, anyway 
again thank you all for watching hopefully this video was beneficial to you all and if you're new to my channel like subscribe comment below do all that good stuff thank you all for watching keep on doconning we'll catch you next time later